Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are back with a special review. Special review, Tom. This is this is not Battletech scale, is it? No, and also I don't think the theme quite fits Battletech. It does not. Well, uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay. I mean, maybe. But I will tell you this. This is so cool. Uh, we figured we were going to review it anyway. We know a lot of you guys play, you know, D&D &D and other fantasy type war games. Uh, so we wanted to show you these. These are the Ancient Ruined City Modular Tiles by Terrainify. Uh, so you've seen Terrainify stuff in our battle reports. We have like the hills and the spires and the rocky outcroppings and all these cool things. Yeah. Uh, this is a brand new uh, creation. Uh, they actually have a Kickstarter that I believe opened on June 1st. Uh, and very exciting. You can get the STLs on the Kickstarter, or you can get these bad boys yeah. uh, painted painted or fully professionally hand painted uh, from terrainify.com. You can do the pre orders now. So, on the Kickstarter, you can get either option too, right? STLs Kickstarter is or... just STLs. Oh, you really? got to go okay. to terrainify to pre order the physical copies like these. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you could do both. Okay. No. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But let me tell you a little bit about terrainify, Tom. For those of you that don't know, you ready for this? How can you not know? But if you don't, if you don't know, Terrainify was founded in 2016. Is that seven years? I don't even know. My math is bad. Was it nine years? I don't know. It's an odd number of years. Uh, either way, it was a long time ago. So they are doing well. They've been around for a long time. They were founded by John, who is a lifelong gamer, and he's got a great team around him. Um, you know, Heidi, and then a whole team of, of designers and painters um, that do this work all in house. It's all phenomenal. It's printed. Uh, right here in the USA, USA. yeah, which is which is beautiful. Um, so <clears throat> I believe it's all like FDM printing. Is that what they call it this time? You're better at this than I am. Yeah. Their resolution's um, really good on it's, it. It's 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 incredible. Um, and so um, uh, yeah, basically what they do is is they as I mentioned, you can get the STLs, you can get um, painted or unpainted. They have a ton of different themes to choose from. Yeah. Um, and really cool stuff too, like lava and snow and, uh, and then all like alien type looking things and psychedelic patterns. They do custom work. They love doing custom wait, work. Wait a minute. Psychedelic. Patterns. I mean, it's like all different crazy colors. Yeah. I, if you go on their, their, uh, their website, yeah, it. it's like crazy. Did they do that for the, um, the other terrain? Uh, you could do it, Tom. Yeah. And they also have a Patreon if you're interested in checking that out. Um, with a link in the description for that. But you can also go to Patreon and look up Terrainify. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, and you can find them. Um, you can find them over there. Um, so, yeah, each one of these is, is absolutely phenomenal. Striking detail. Um, but why don't, we, why don't we get this started? All right. Yeah. So, guys, stick around. Terrainify Modular Tiles Review. Don't go away. And we're back. All right. So uh, why don't we get started with a little teaser video, Tom? Okay. All right. This is the best way to, to kick it off. This is a great teaser video. You'll find this on Terrainify's uh, Facebook page. I believe they have it there. And also on the Kickstarter, I believe this video is there as well. Um, but let's check that out. That'll give you a good idea of what we're dealing with here. You deserve better terrain, and it has arrived. Introducing the Ancient Ruined City Modular Tiles by Terrainify. Each of the 25 tiles in the set is an original design with sharp, Realistic details that will bring your game to life. But the hallmark feature of this set is its complete modularity. Any tile can be placed alongside any other tile, facing in any direction, in any combination. The Ancient Ruin City comes in three formats. STL files for 3D printing, unpainted physical models for at-home crafting, and professionally hand-painted models, like the ones you see here, ready for your game table. A 
All 25 tiles used together can create a massive 3x3 three three flip layout with infinite replayability. Use multiple sets of the tiles to double or triple the size of your game. The beginner-friendly, supportless STL files are available via Kickstarter. You can also pre-order unpainted and hand-painted physical models directly at Terrainify.com. All three formats will be offered at an incredible discount for a limited time only. Back the ancient Ruin City modular tiles on Kickstarter or place your pre-order at Terrainify.com today. All right, so there it is. That was the intro video. Very, very cool. impressive video. Impressive video. Impressive video made by, made by Death From Above Media Group, LLC. If you're interested in, in yeah, your own Kickstarter video, yeah. yeah, let us know. Uh, but it was awesome that, that Terrainify reached out uh, and asked us to help them with that. It was, it was actually a lot of fun doing it. Um, and we so, love the company. We love and we their love stuff. their company. We love their stuff. I'm happy to happy to support it. So let's talk about what we've got here. Now, yep. what you saw in so that- So show me the STLs first. Here's the STL time. Yeah. All right. Okay, um, so we should talk about this one more time. All sure. right. So <laughs> STLs on Kickstarter, right? And the reason they do the STLs, the unpainted and the fully painted, is because you know their mission statement really is about bringing tremendously awesome terrain, yeah. uh, regardless of what your budget is and how much time you have. Like for me, um, budget's less of an issue than time. Like I'm extremely busy. Got lots of things going on. Yeah. And having this show up at my door, ready to go to put on a table is paramount for me. Yeah. Other folks absolutely love, you know, doing their own printing, right? Kevin, Dan, they like yeah. love printing. They're like printing nerds. I can't, I, I, can't, well, I can't do it. Per piece and the cost per piece is almost nothing, right? right? So like for Dan, like printing his own stuff is great. Yeah. But then there's people like you that don't have a printer, but also are very artsy and wouldn't Who mind. Who says I don't have a printer? I don't have a printer. You don't have a printer, guys. Uh, but you could pretend basically like, like paint, right? You could paint up your own yeah. piece, but you don't have to print it, right? They'll just send it to you unfinished, right? Um, and so, so yeah, where you have a really specific theme that you want, right? You know, that's not within their sort of pantheon of uh, right. They do, they do do custom themes. Well, then I stand corrected. All right. So then um, you can. But it would be cheaper designer. to do it yourself. Yeah, that's right. cheaper to do it yourself. Yeah. So different different options. Different yeah. price points. I think that's very, very cool. Yeah, and no matter what, you're getting the same quality across the board. Like the STLs have the same, you know, sort of quality level. If you print them yourself, right? If you get them unpainted, there's no difference in quality between the two. It's just like, did they hand finish them or not? Yeah. So yeah. Um, and I'm always impressed with their stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, and I don't know how STLs really work, but I would imagine <laughs> I'm going to throw this out there. Like you could. Rescale them, yeah. You like can. rescale them mm -hmm. is exactly what I was gonna say, right? Yeah. Like if you now these are designed for like twenty five to thirty two millimeter, like you know, like right. anything that's like in that D and D to forty k like scale of miniature, right? These work, but if you wanted to do like ten millimeter or something smaller, like theoretically you could scale them up or down, right? Yeah, and I mean, and depending on your printer, like you have different resolution levels, right? So you know, I, I don't even know if you have a really budget machine. I'm not sure that you can. With you might not be able to get all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I mean, hard to know. Yeah, it's without know. being really. I will say these are supportless. It was mentioned in the in the teaser video. So when they're they're very easy to print. There's no oh, supports, so nothing. Nice. Boom, they just come out. Such a is, mess with like breaking all the right. Stuff so you don't have to worry about any of that um, yeah. with these. Um, but let's talk about let's talk about the finished quality here, shall we? Sure. Now now we each have a set of pieces. The set that you buy would be twenty five pieces. I didn't pull all twenty five pieces out, but they did send me. 50 pieces, one in 125 set in this theme, 125 piece set in that theme. Yeah. Um, there are three different sizes, small, okay, which you have, then there's medium, all right, and then there are these large ones yeah. uh, here, all right, and they all, there's a variety of different, everyone's unique. So there's like 25, there's no two that are alike. So you get 25 unique um, tiles, and what you can do is basically, you know, put them together in any way you it's choose. It's also a game. It's also a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, basically, you can do all sorts of, all sorts of, you know, neat stuff here, right? Um, and the the sort of the trademark, as it, as it did say in the intro video, is like the modularity, right? You can do all sorts of, 
you know, all sorts of neat stuff with them. Tom, Tom is already, God only knows what Tom's, Tom, Tom's not building squares. No. <laughs> so basically. Did I do it right? You did absolutely <laughs> did not do it right. So the first time I did this, I had, I had to call Heidi on the phone. I was like, I can't, I can't fit this into a square, but the pattern is pretty simple, right? Yeah. You, so these big ones, right in the yeah. middle and you make it longer with this half size one so you fit them like that so they're they're basically like the edge pieces <clears throat> yeah right so these are almost like the outside edges mm -hmm. if you will you see yep so a little bit of that right i had a whole idea i had a whole idea going on anyway so listen you can, this you is can... my terrain set that's your terrain set <laughs> keep your hands off my terrain <laughs> kit um, so lots of neat stuff you can do with these and you can turn them, you can, you know, you can yeah. flip them, you can do whatever you want with them basically to make this, uh, to make this work. So, right? just like that. Okay. Um, so there's lots of neat things you can do. I do need one more tile, but that's okay. What do you need? Probably one of these long ones. It's okay. Yeah. See, there you go. See, I'm in a square. I figured it out. I'm good yeah. at puzzles. Tom's very, very good at puzzles. Mm -hmm. Um, so very, very cool stuff. Now let's just talk about the, the quality. Of, of the pieces, right? So this was one that I really, really loved. I love the windows. Yeah. All right. I love the the level of detail, the scale and the size, right? You can you can put dudes. You had a cool setup with this one. I remember with the with the archers. I think in the video with the yeah. archers behind it, right? Yeah. You know, you can do all sorts of really. I'll call out my favorite after you. Okay. Well, tell me what your favorite is. So it's the same on both scales. I think the large tile, it's this one. I love the broken arch. Ah, the, and then the, then the medium size is just this arch part without the wall. Right. I, like it's super cool looking. Um, yeah. It's yeah, probably my favorite. Amongst, amongst my favorite ones as well. Also, I believe this one has like the broken, the broken oh, arch, yeah. the collapsed arch. So there's like sort of these thematic similarities from one to the next I like it. um and they're super lightweight and something tom you noticed yeah if you want if you want to like call attention it out. to detail um they even attach the little uh feet to them so they're and they're you know they're grippy so they're not going to move and uh, it also makes it so much easier to lift them up like again it's that little attention to detail like you can easily get your fingers under the bottom of them rather than like you know trying to like figure out how to like get under there it's right. like one of those romp appeal things it's like I can't do it. You know? Set it and forget it? Yeah. Wasn't that him? Yep, that was him. Huh. All right. yeah, they always have the goofy people that are like, I don't know how to cut the next one. Like, you know? Yeah. So good. I can't get this terrain up. But. So basically, the 25 piece set will come and, and basically create a three by three playing surface. So it's slightly smaller than this game mat that we have. Um, you know, if you were to, if you were to take away a little bit of space there. Um, but you know, that is, that is essentially what you would get. And, um, you know, again, the themes are on the website, yeah. but you could get it like snow covered if you wanted, uh, you can get volcanic, um, mm -hmm. which could be kind of cool. Like the city's sort of like fractured and falling apart. Um, but you know, we do have some 28, uh, millimeter minis. I believe some of these are, I think these are Reaper minis. I don't, I don't remember. Um, exactly what what uh what brand they are but you can kind of get an idea here of uh what it looks like with some minis yeah. on there and what i say too is like again i i don't know the math off the top of my head but like with 25 unique tiles uh -huh. and then being able to fit in four different directions each one like that's a crazy amount of variability. So, you know, well, not that, you're you, not, can, you can fit, right? You can piece them together different ways. Well, too, I mean, right? So like, 25 yeah. pieces, and then you can also rotate them. So yep. you can, like, you get a lot out of that 25 piece set. That's right. Um, which yeah. is pretty impressive. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Um, and you know, the other thing is like, you can do different things with the terrain, right? Like you don't need to necessarily make it three by three. Um, you know, one of the, one of the things I asked them was like, well, does it, does it have to be a square? Uh, because you know, when we play D and D sometimes, Tom, like we use those, uh, like the cart, remember the old cardboard tiles, right? Yeah. And they don't necessarily make a square. We just kind of put them down as the rooms come up, right? Like right. the DM has an idea of what it looks like. So you could certainly use them in that way, or like just build like a little mini scene for combat, right? D and D combat doesn't necessarily need to be 
like full table right. scale size. Yeah, all, you know, even if you're doing the, like we used to use a whiteboard, right? Too. Correct. So you could have the whiteboard and then when you just have a set piece that you want to do. Right. right. You could use like a yeah, small, like here, right? Like look at that. You got like the broken down room. You show up to it off of a little thing. Right. So mm -hmm. if, if you're That's working beautiful. off of, you know, your kitchen table or a desk or something, you don't have the room. Like I think you told me you could build a three by three square out of the right. 25 three by three square. square. Yeah. Um, you know, not everybody has a three by three square to play on. And so, Oh, that looks great. Looks so good. I was gonna say, so you let's really get, let's just get have... this in for a close up. What do you think? Yeah. Well, that looks really cool. Um, but yeah, so you know, you, you can really use it, and the fact that you get the small and medium sized tiles again, you can really make it fit the space you want to play in. I'm a big fan of it. I love it. Yeah, I love it. And you know, the other thing I will say is, um, yeah, I mean, you can even set it up as like you know, like this, right? Correct. Like that's what like, they're coming on to, yeah. you know, coming into whatever. And if you so desire. Um, oh, yeah. You could absolutely use this terrain for 40k. Um, that, that does have that sort sure, of gothic, nice. ruined, you know, yeah. r remnant of an imperial city or whatever it might be. You could certainly use it for Age of Sigmar. You could use it, yeah. maybe yeah. not so much for like Infinity or some of those games, but um, War Machines, another one I think that, it, that the genre fits. So there's a lot of different games I think you could use this terrain for. It's yeah. a good thing to have in your collection is basically what I'm saying. It's not just for RPGs or just for war games. I think there's a lot of different ways you could use these modular tiles. Yeah, and, and if you accessorize them with, um, what do you call that, like free terrain or whatever you call it? Yeah, like scatter, scatter terrain. terrain, like some barrels or crates <clears throat> yeah. or whatever. Again, mm -hmm. it's just another way you can really right. make it feel different. Yeah, it's great. And the other thing I really liked about this is, you know, so there are some other, um, there, there's actually, there's a lot now, but there was one sort of primary modular dungeon creator right from like years ago it's totally different because that was all hallways and interior yeah. mostly so dungeon caverns and stuff. dungeon yeah this is overland stuff i don't think maybe there is but i can't think of and i don't think i've seen anything like this um and i, I really hope and i think the intention is to continue to expand on this line um you know may, maybe even like what would be cool is like multi-tile pieces where like they fit together and build like something oh, cooler, right? That'd be cool. Um, you know, something like an abandoned farmhouse that might be four of these larger tiles, right? And you kind of fit them together. Yeah, I was gonna say, and you could probably, you can make that in a way that you could probably even make multiple configurations with it. Oh. Like they seem to know what they're doing. Yeah. You could so like that you, you could design it out, right? Yeah. Set it up in it's different like a ways. Set, you know, you get the three oh, I like, variants. I like where your that. head's at, Tom. Yeah. yeah. You can pay me for product design. <laughs> I'll, uh, I, I contract out. I'm 10, 1099. DFA design. Right, LLC. DFA designs, right? It's one of our shell companies. <laughs> DFA it's heavy industries. Money, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all the money comes into the DFA car wash. Yeah, yeah. It's like breaking bad. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so yeah, overall, very impressed with this stuff. And I'll make one more comment about just these. Can I talk about how sure. awesome this is? Look at the moss up the wall. I know. Yeah. All right. Like, I, I would never be able to do this if I if I if I tried. And if I did try, it would take me weeks to do like a couple of pieces. Yeah. They um how am I what am I trying to say? I really like when you get into like the, the worn area, you can see they use like a thinner cover and then they build it up in certain areas. And again, they, they have a really nice touch. Um it, it looks really well thought through yeah and um so it looks very intentional yeah it's absolutely beautiful um yeah, yeah and, and you said like so some of the other examples we've seen we've seen their their snow work on their spire tiles right correct and the the stony outcroppings um and every single one of them they execute really well so yep. um i feel confident that you know yeah no matter what what pattern yeah. you pick you'll so, be happy so is this primed is this fully painted? Is this, this is this is like this is stone? one of their simple. So okay. they have different levels of painted. Yeah. Um, right, and this is this, like this is this is finished. Like right, there's like I think this is called like some basic gray or simple yeah. gray. Basic gray, I think, is what it's called. Yeah. And this is just simple. Right, it's just painted. Um, there's no flocking. There's nothing else. And you can get like brown, red, purple. Yeah. You know, they all did sandy and colored, then, right? And they still look good. Well, no, I was gonna say, um, and how easy would it be to just accent some of it? Like, so you, you get a basic fully painted, right. yeah, and then like you want to, you know, add some very 
Well, even like when we build a battle report, like you could get like some lichen, like from the, you know, the, the train and the, the train set the stuff, you know, stuff just kind of sprinkled around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the, right. Um, so yeah, there, there's lots of stuff. I think you could, I show you up could with like a do. box fan and just like shoot it all over the <laughs> like a phone <laughs> <Yeah>. cannon. <laughs> oh my God. It's um, flocked everywhere. It's flocking crazy. It's so flocking things crazy. you say, mm. things you say. Is, yeah. So basically, this is. Uh, this I like is, you can push it to it. I gotta move it a little bit. Right, like yeah, you know, and and again, like this is this would be like an example of. Can we a, play the scene out, by the way? How do you think this goes? Oh, with the skeletons and the and the, the adventuring party. These yeah, are high level adventures. Out. I mean, this is clearly yeah. uh, this is a cleric, so he's just gonna, oh, he's dead. gonna turn on dead. Yeah. This dude's a ranger, like so he's oh. he's gonna easily traverse the difficult terrain, yeah. outflank the skeletons. Two weapon fighting. She looks like a paladin, maybe. I'm she's not wearing sure. full plate, it looks like. Yeah. Except for <laughs> Yeah. She's wearing a full plate everywhere except for in her upper torso area. Yeah. Don't know why. I don't know why. Must have fallen off. Must have <laughs> Ah <laughs> Reaper Miniatures. Sword is great. Yeah. Um <laughs> Classic That's stuff. so funny. Yeah. Classic 80s fantasy. Yeah. Do you remember like the old like barbaric like Conan yeah. and like, Sonic? Yeah. yeah, how are you not? Bar dead? Yeah, he's got like sh like arm armor and right. he's got like and, right, yeah. bracers and that's it. And he's just completely just a loincloth and yeah. bracers. I love it. AC 17. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and his dot he has like 8,000 dodge. Yeah. That's it. Um that's really funny. So okay. yeah, this is this is great stuff though. This is really, really great stuff. Yeah. Um, I love it. And and even like, so this is, you would have all of these, be, although they would be painted the same, but this if you- This is still only 16, right? This is, uh, this is only what, 16 pieces? Yeah. Yeah, because we have eight each, right? So you can even do a smaller layout. This is a great example of like, if you don't want to do, to your point, right? You're on a smaller table, you don't want to do the full three by three, but you have tons of variability because you have interchangeable pieces, right? Yeah. And so I want to- like again, I just sort of rotate this right the shape rotator as they call us. I want to do this. Yeah. And so now all of a sudden, you know, all right. Actually, I want to kind of move this one because I don't like that. You don't like that? It's too close to the other one. All right, put the palette in here. Yeah. Put this here. I love that. Yeah, there you go. So check this out. Other things you can do, right? Like, yeah, right. Like there's just literally endless layouts that, that you could do here. You can just move and he stuff. just teleports. What happened? Whoa. I don't know. Like he's looking through now the window. Hiding. Yeah. Now he's <laughs> they're well they're turned. They're they're running in fear. Yeah. I don't know. Now I think he's just watching. <laughs> he's a voyeur skeleton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop looking at me, you weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Skeleton's like, dude, not cool. Like, you're supposed to be over here helping us. I'm like, you're just standing there. <laughs> Stop being a creep. <laughs> he's like, so then he like and then he just peeks out. He's just peeking out. Look at him. He's like craning his neck. His eyes are real wide. Uh, See, you can just do oh, this too. Geez. You don't have to play again. You don't even have to play D&D. &D. You yeah. just make hilarious scenes with Tom. Uh, all right. So that's all I got on this. Um, yeah. Again, Terrainify, Omaha, Nebraska, made in the USA. Yeah. Terrainify.com for the pre-order of the pre-painted or unpainted or head over to their Kickstarter uh, for the STL files. Yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely phenomenal stuff. I definitely think that this is worth your money. This is something you want to add to your collection. And if you jump on that gravy train now, yeah. uh, there is a discount uh, yeah. from, from, they're going to discount classic it basically. Kickstarter. Yeah, classic Kickstarter. So you get it for a little bit cheaper yeah. uh, than what you will when it, once it hits retail. Um, speaking of which, Tom, if I, if I would, if I would be so kind. Don't forget to subscribe and like oh, and leave a comment. Tell us if you love this stuff and you think it's the coolest thing you've ever seen or if it's something you think you'd want to add to your collection. Uh, yeah, I'd love to hear you to say, don't say it. <laughs> don't <laughs> scream it into the void. I don't want to hear no it. Negativity. Yeah. No negativity. Uh, this, this is a positive. positive. Yeah. This, is a, this is a happy, this is a yeah. happy zone, a safe space for, for positive comments. <laughs> um, so. But yeah, leave a comment. Let Just, us know what you think. Either way, definitely want to hear about it. You know, you guys, uh, you like this stuff? Do you not? I'm very interested to hear about that. Also, if you want to help out the channel, we have our Patreon as well. So you can head on over to, to our Patreon. Uh, link is in the description. Link is on YouTube. Link is everywhere. Um, and you can support us. I think it's little as little as a dollar a month, Tom. As a little as a dollar a month. Keeps the lights on. It does. Helps us to buy better lights and cameras. Yeah. We have a guy with a hand crank keeping this place going. Stan. Yeah. 
That's why Dan hasn't been in this video. He's actually out back hand cranking the generator to keep the lights on. <laughs> yeah. Poor Dan. It's very hot out right now. It's at it's least 75. Good probably, probably good for him. Yeah, yeah, it's good for his heart. It's a yeah. good point. Good point. Well, anyway, I'm all done. Any other thoughts? No, I'm, I'm super excited. I yeah. really like I can't Terrainify wait. as a company. They have great customer support. Um, yeah. I like that they're active on social media. Yeah. They, they keep in contact with people and uh, they keep putting out great product. Yeah. Agreed. Big fan. Big fan as well. Can't wait to play our first game of Dungeons and Dragons with this stuff. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to have to soon. In the, in the new tavern. Yeah. In Good stuff. Tavern. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good day.